What's going on everybody? Thanks for joining another fly time video today. Let's go ahead and um, get this midge started. Um, first off, we can just talk about the midge for a second. You can tie this in just about any color, any style you want. Um, this fly that I'm tying today is a thread base. You can um, add a little more weight to it by um, doing a wire based body and just having touching wraps with wire and then rib it with some more wire, a different color. Um, you can use a, a color of tinsel. You can rib it with tinsel. Um, there's just a lot of things you can do with this. You can add a hot spot collar. You can, you know, put some dubbing in. I mean, this thing is very versatile and it does catch fish. Um, it's just really productive, especially in the winter time, spring. And um, yes, yeah, so let's just go ahead and get started. I usually tie mine in um, 16 up to a 22. Um, I guess down to a 22, but um, we've got a size 16 TM go hook in the vise. 16, you can see it a little better on camera. So um, yeah, but this one's pretty basic. Like I said, you can you can get complicated with these. We're just going to keep it pretty simple today. Um, we've just got a 2.8 tungsten bead in gold. Um, it just gives it a little more weight. And for the body of the fly, we're just going to be using, it's just going to be a thread base, like I said, and we're just going to be using this burgundy. It's a, a darker red. Um, it's a really nice color. This is UTC 70. And we're just going to be going for a pretty slim body on this fly. So go ahead and start your thread right behind the bead. <coughs> Clip off your tag. And then we're just going to tie in the, the wire here. Since I've got a gold bead, I'm going to be using some gold wire. This is just UTC. I don't know if you can see the gold in there. There you go. Um, yeah, this is gold. It's small. This size small. Go ahead and tie it right up into the bead here. And then go ahead and bring your wire all the way down. Um, if I didn't mention, this is a curved style hook. Um, size 16. And yeah, so we're just going to take it down and into the bend a little ways. Give it that curved look. And then go ahead and start taking touching wraps back up the body. Um, I like this UTC thread for this because it's pretty flat and it's easy to build a slim body get all that wire covered <clears throat> so once you secure that wire go ahead and take touching wraps and <clears throat> form yourself a nice tapered body with your thread so to taper it I just like to come down to the point and then back up and go a fourth of the way to the point and then back up. Build a little bit of thread base behind your bead. <clears throat> so we've got our body pretty simple. Now we're just going to take our wire. And this is when you want to take the most time is just getting those clean wraps. You can make them as close together as you want. You can make them far apart. I don't think it really matters. I like them pretty close on my um, midges. I think it looks a little cleaner. <clears throat> so go ahead and rib that entire body. We're gonna take this thread or this wire all the way up to the bead. And once we get to the bead, go ahead and capture it with your thread. <clears throat> Few wraps behind it. Few wraps in front. Go ahead and helicopter. So we got a piece sticking up. And then you can just kind of fill in the gap with some thread here. So your bead stays secure. We do have a little piece of wire sticking up here. Won't matter, we'll coat it. So yeah, go ahead and build your thread up to behind the bead. My thread got caught, okay. So once you have a little bit of a color built, your ribbing looks good, that's it. That's the finished product. Go ahead, whip finish, 
and then you can add some resin or some Zappa Gap to give it a little extra durability. I like to resin it, it gives it a little more shine. My thread wraps kind of got tangled up here. So once you get that resin on there, go ahead and cure it. <clears throat> and that's it. Again, you can change up the wire, the thread, you can use tinsel, and I like blue, I like purple, um, I like your regular red, black, brown olives. All those work really well, so feel free to really expand on these. Um, and they do catch fish and they're really simple Again, thanks for watching go ahead like subscribe to my channel comment and we'll see you next time